Aloo gosht ka salan is such a mood lifter. It's the ultimate comfort food in whichever season of the year you are. I particularly love it in summers. And if you want to know the recipe of our family favorite aloo gosht ka salan, here it is. For this recipe, you will need 3 to 4 medium sized cut tomatoes, 3 sticks of cinnamon, 1 teaspoon black pepper, 3 black cardamom, 3 bay leaves, 1 star anise and 3 4 long. 1 medium sized chopped onion. Here I've chopped together ginger, garlic and green chilies, ghee to cook, garam masala, kashmiri lal mirch, haldi, namak, red chilli powder and dhania powder. Then we have some potatoes and 1.2 kilos of goat. Let's start cooking. First add ghee in a big pot. I also add some normal canola oil with it and then I'll just take one onion and chop it. Add the onion in hot oil or ghee. Once it's a little bit of goldenish brown, not completely brown, just a bit of golden brown like this. Then you can add your Sabit Kara Masala. Add and hoonify it until it's fragrant. After 2-3 minutes, add in your meat. The trick is to hoonify the meat really really well so it gets caramelized from all the sides. Now we will make the ginger, garlic and green chili paste with this chopper. This is a really nice chopper by the way. Now add everything in the full chopper and pull 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 until it's all finely chopped. Add this freshly chopped ginger, garlic and green chilies in the meat. The khushbu, the fragrance this one gives. Ye jo bazaar ke aate hai na, lassan adrak ka paste, they never give this khushbu. Now add in all the masalas. Make sure the flame is on low right now because sara masala the rice chipak jayega niche. थोड़ा सा इसको इसमें भून के जब खुशबू आने लगे then you add some water not too much just half a cup maybe and then भून और फाइ इट अगेन the most important trick squeeze half a lemon at this point it will give such a nice flavor to your salad now that you have added water you can now भून और फाइ इट on high flame as well At this point, we have to add some chopped tomatoes. So here I am chopping the tomatoes. This knife, by the way, is really good. Achha, now add the tomatoes in the sal and you can see how bhunava it is. And now mix, mix, mix until you can't see them anymore and they dissolve completely in the sal. Add yogurt. This is four tablespoon yogurt and then mix it all together. Before you add yogurt, keep your flame to low. If you add yogurt on yogurt, then everything will be wrong. Now we have to add in almost 4 cups of water and then leave it all until the meat gets tender. So just cover it and leave it for 30 minutes at least. Now that the meat is 80% done, we will add the potatoes in it. Mix the potatoes with the salan so that everything gets really well and then aap ek aur do, ek do cup aur paani dal dein, jitna shorba aapko pasand hai, utna dal ke, then again cook it on medium flame. Ab gosht aur alu dono gal chuke hain, all we have to do is garnish, this is the most important step. What is alu gosht ka salan without this beautiful dhania, hari mirch, garam masala and lemon, you can also squeeze some lemon in it. और इसी के साथ आपका बहुत मजेदार आलू गोश का सालन रेडी है। इसके साथ जो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज़ है खाने की वो है कटा हुआ प्याज वाला सलाद। चाहे मैं किसी के साथ खाऊं ना खाऊं, ये सलाद मैं आलू गोश के साथ ज़रूर 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 खाती हूँ। घर की बनी हुई रोटी हो, खाऊं
उठाएं और इन्जॉय करें